Step 2. Go to Tools and insert the script using Script Editor. So here we are in the form. We have to go over to Form Responses. We have to click to activate the spreadsheet. That's where we're going to insert the scripts. So we're going to create a new spreadsheet and we're going to click Create and it produces a spreadsheet here. Now here we're going to go to Tools. We're going to say Script Editor and I always name this the name of my project and I just call it Script Editor. I'm going to say OK and what we want here is to create uh, several pages of script that will generate the function that we want. So I'm going to press save again. Why did it not? Okay, there it is. Okay, so I have a copy of the script um, available. The first thing we want is code. This here, we're going to copy all of this until I get to the about here. I'll know that I've gotten it all when I get to the word about. Actually, let me jump to about and then work up from there. So I'm copying all of this. It's a lot of code but it's really a copy and paste function, which is fairly simple. Which is very simple, not fairly simple. Yes, there are faster ways to copy things, but right now this is what I've done. So I want to stop it right here. I'm going to control C and I'm going to bring it over to, to my script. Hmm, again, my name is missing. I'm not sure why that's happening. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to hit paste. Project name again. I don't know why it's not taking the name. I've never had that happen, but script editor. I'm going to say OK. It's there. I'm going to hit save. And here I'm going to say file. I'm going to say new HTML file. And the next file is called about.html. So this is what it's called. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring it here, paste that. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to grab the script from about. This one is very short. Copy that and replace it with this. Save that. And now I'm going to say file new HTML. Again, I'm going to jump down to settings. This is the name of that file. If the name is off by even one letter, it will not work. So be very careful with your spelling. That's why I'm copying and pasting. So now I have that. I'm going to grab the settings down to the word install. right here. So I've copied that, bring it back here. Uh, I'm going to say file new HTML. This is install.html and I'm going to grab this, paste that file. I'm going to click save, back to the form emailer and the last one is fixed sheet. So this is the name. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to bring it here. File, new, HTML. I'm going to paste that. I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to grab this. Copy it. Bring it here. 
replace this and now we have the code. At this point, uh, make sure you save and we want to say run, run function on install. It asks for this authorization. You can review permissions. The only way to make this work is to allow for these permissions. I've never had a problem. I'm going to say allow. And now when we come back to the sheet, you'll notice that we have this piece here called form emailer. Also, you'll see here it says form responses. So we have a response tab back here. And notice here form emailer. If you click here, you're going to say install. It's going to run the script. Oh, something's not working here. I'm going to say save and close. Error invalid sheet for undefined. Your data was not saved. So something is wrong in my script. So let me come back here. Code about settings. HTML, HTML, H install, fix sheet. So what is going on? What is going on? Let's see. I'm going to try again. Form emailer install, running script, hmm, form sheets, name of the sheet that holds a form answer, so something's wrong. So as I poked around, I realized that my settings didn't paste properly. Everything else is there, so I'm going to go back and grab my settings, which was, I don't know, was this the longest one? I don't think so, maybe not. So something went wrong, I didn't paste it. Okay, so that's what I wanted. My settings up to here. Control copy. I'm going to bring it back to the script and paste it. Now it's there. So let's try this again. Form emailer, install. Invalid sheet for undefined. Your data was not saved. Okay. Don't usually have these kinds of issues, but oh, run, run on install. I found an error here. I accidentally took part of the the file name of install and included it as part of the script. It cannot have anything that's not supposed to be there. Okay, so we'll try it again. Install. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. So now I've pasted all of the scripts into the script editor and I'm going to choose run, run, fun run function on install. I'll go back to my sheet, form emailer, click install. This is what you get. It says form responses one and I'm going to configure. It matches the form responses here. Configure. And what happens is 
it sets up an email. So I'm going to put the sender's name as my name. Reply to will be my email. And I'll use two. I'll leave that here. This is my work email. And you can copy somebody and BCC somebody. New form submitted. That's going to be the subject of the email. I'm going to change it to PD appointment request. And I'm going to put the person's first name here. So I'm going to grab this value, copy that, and put it here. And I'd like to also grab the date they requested. So I have an idea right away what we're looking at. And I'm not going to modify the contents of the email, but it will give you a timestamp. You can take it away or you can leave it. First name, last name, the name of your person's school, the location, the topic. So it's going to have a placeholder in the email for all of those settings. So I'm going to say save and close. And now I'm going to go to my form, go to live form, and I'm going to input this information. So I'm going to say, uh, Jack Camden, name of your school, let's say it's Merrick Middle School, uh, where, your place or mine, I'm going to say your place and it's going to be room 234, topic of interest, I'm going to say clever. Uh, date the request. Uh, how about if we do this next Monday? And how about if we start at 1 15 p.m. and we end at 2 p.m. So now I'm asking for an email. So here I'm going to use my no, I think I'm going to use my work email so that my work email and my cell phone number. And now I'm going to say submit. So when I go to my email, let me open my email. This is my work email. You should see. I've submitted the form and now I just want to see if it uh, processed properly. I'm going to go to my responses and here I have a missing form emailer. So I'm going to go back to my script editor. I needed to tell it uh, to be time driven. When you click on that little clock, it creates a trigger. I'm going to add a trigger and I'm going to say it's time driven. So these are your choices and we're going to leave it as time driven. We're going to say time driven again and we're going to say minutes timer. So every minute it is going to submit to the spreadsheet. So here it is. So now I'm going to go back to my form and I don't have to regenerate all of that. I don't have to submit another response. I can actually just go here, go to form emailer and say process manually. I'm going to tell it to process line two. See here, this is line two. So I'm going to say two and I'm going to say okay. And it says it was processed successfully and it did find a problem. Field does not exist in other emails. It, Email is sent, but it, it is detecting a problem with one of my fields, so I'll have to look into that. So now when I go to my email, here it is. Here's my, P, my um, email. It says PD appointment request, Jack, and the date. And if I open my email, it says the person's name, the name of the school, 
where your place in mind, and this is where I had the issue, topic of interest, clever, date requested, start time. Hmm, the time is, something's wrong with the time. Your email address and your cell phone. Now, I noticed that I put in colons and it's got doubled up colons, so we didn't really need that. But that is how you create a form. I'm going to do one more submission just to show you what it looks like. So here's my form and I'm going to complete it. I, I'm going to complete it. I'm going to say Jack Camden Merrick Middle School uh, Your Place Room 301 Topic of Interest Clever date requested let's say tomorrow start time I'm available they want me at 1 30 p.m. until 2 15 p.m. my email my cell phone and I'm gonna click submit now when I submit here's the response now, I forgot to set up the email push. So normally this would say something here. Now it's skipping line two because I deleted it. I made an adjustment here. So that doesn't matter. I'm gonna to go to form emailer. Um, well, before I do that, I have to go back to the script and I have to add a trigger. So you would add a trigger, click here. And the trigger that I added was head time based time driven and let me just modify that time driven time driven minutes timer every minute so this is these are the options and this is time driven if there's something that happens you'll get an, a, a notification daily so here we have it not sure why it is flashing like that Maybe that's what it needed to save. So here in this field, it says field did not exist. Topic did not exist. I think it's because I took out all of the options. So not a problem. Here I am having, 